today's project diary I will teach you how to make a really cheap homemade organic fungicide spray. Hi and welcome to Project Diaries. Today's video is a request by quite a number of you and to answer a lot of questions that I keep getting asked uh, and that is which products do I recommend to treat my garden for funguses etc. Uh, and the real simple fact is I don't recommend any. It is so quick and easy to make cheap fungicides at home. Um, I wouldn't really recommend buying any. Uh, all these marketing companies just do is try to slap on a really good label and basically sell you either really cheap ingredients that you can do at home or they pump in loads of chemicals which hopefully you don't want to put in your garden anyway. Um, so I know I've already done some videos on fungicides and uh, powdery white mildew and uh, black spot on roses uh, but today's video is going to be a dedicated video on how to make your own fungicides and here's how to do it. Before I make the fungicide itself I'm just going to show you a few images to show you what fungus actually does to leaves. This fungus is black spot, it will most likely affect your rose bushes. There is also downy mildew and powdery white mildew. Now if your leaves have these long stripes or orangey dots, this is leaf rust. But don't panic because my homemade fungicide will cure these and many more. Now first up you want to get yourself a bottle. You can buy these two for a pound or a dollar. Failing that, if you want to use an old detergent bottle, please make sure it's cleaned thoroughly and it's made from a safe plastic. Then you'll need some vegetable oil and some baking soda. Now some people would think the baking powder would be the UK equivalent, but it's actually bicarbonate of soda. Then you'll need around 500 millilitres of water, mainly because that's how much this bottle holds. So you can make this fungicide different strengths, it's basically down to you to figure out how severe you think the fungus is attacking your plant. If it just has a few spots or white patches on the leaves, I'd just use one. If it seems to be covering a majority of leaves, I'd use two. But if it starts to cover the entire plant then definitely use 3 teaspoons. Now when it comes to using oil, you can use vegetable oil, sunflower oil, rapeseed oil or neem oil. Neem oil will be the most expensive so just use whichever one's cheapest for you. So for this amount I'm just going to use 1 teaspoon. The baking soda is basically the ingredient you need to break down the fungus and the oil is to help it stick to the leaves. Then just give it a really good stir until it starts turning white. Now oil and water don't mix, so to help this you just need a little squeeze of eco-friendly dish soap. Now I get asked this question a lot, please make sure it's eco-friendly and not just any kind of washing up liquid or detergent. Most detergents have really harmful chemicals that you really don't want to spray all over your garden. As a rule of thumb, if it doesn't say organic or eco-friendly on the bottle, it's probably not. So please don't use any alternatives, and the same rules apply for all of my other homemade tutorials. Once you finish giving it a stir for a minute or two, you just need to pour it into the bottle. Now depending on how much soap you put into it, pour it into the bottle really slowly just in case it starts foaming over. Then all that's left to do is screw the cap on tightly and give it a really good shake. Now you'll need to do this every single time that you use it, just to make sure you shake up all the ingredients each time. And there you go, it's all finished. And it is that quick and simple. Now I won't uh, do a video on how to apply this, mainly because I haven't got any fungus in the garden at the moment. Um, it's been too cold of spring to actually develop any fungus on any flowers. But if you do want to know how to apply it, you can watch my um, powdery white mildew video, which is here, and the link will be above. Um, but other than that, that's the best way of making a fungicide and the cheapest way that I know. Uh, hopefully today's video has helped you. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you again next time. Take care. If you'd like to keep up to date on all of my future releases, don't forget to subscribe now. Here are some links to some of my great new playlists. And if you tried these or any other project, I'd love to see your progress, so please join my Facebook gardening group. All the links are in the description box below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.